Uh, this essay is um, it's about a class I was teaching last week, um, and it's it's a survey class of world religions, and we were discussing um, Chinese world religions that emerged out of ancient China, and one of them was called Taoism. And Taoism's founder was a man by the name of Lao Tzu. Um, and, and a number of my students were absolutely fascinated by Lao Tzu, and they wrote essays about it. And, um, and I, I, I seized upon that to talk about how do we determine the truth about things, like world religions, people who founded world religions, etc. And that's a that's a particular question. How do you determine the truth about some kinds of religions? But it is also a more general picture and question about in the world in which we live, how do we determine what the truth is? And the example I used was Lao Tzu. Um, if you know anything about Taoism or Lao Tzu, you know that he was founder of Taoism. And for some reason, he decided, um, maybe for retirement or something, but the story is that he got up and he decided to leave China. This was two and a half millennia ago. And he uh, just got on his oxen and took off for the border. And when he got to the border, uh, the guards stopped him and they said, you can't go. You have to stay and write down all your thoughts and essentially write down all your thoughts that created Taoism. Um, so he wrote down his thoughts and then left. If you know anything about Taoism, you know that. The problem is that Chinese scholars really have some really issues about who Lao Tzu was. Um, some believe that Lao Tzu just didn't, just never existed. That it was just a story um, some scholars believe that uh, another writer wrote about this guy by the name of Lao Tzu, kind of an imaginary character, and put to care this person's theological, philosophical ideas and put it in the form of saying Lao Tzu said. Um, and others believe that Lao Tzu actually existed. The problem is that there are no reports um, that indicated anything about Lao Tzu during his life. No one talked about Lao Tzu as, oh, I, I met Lao Tzu the other day, he's really a good guy. There is no documentation that Lao Tzu ever lived. In other words, he might have lived, he might not have lived, but we don't have any documentation, any historical evidence that that person was alive. And the only way you get it is to have some person at that time period referring to Lao Tzu. But there is, there is no reference to Lao Tzu um, 2,500 years ago. Um, and the question is, how did that religion emerge? And, and, and that's a, and that teaching moment has two levels. One is, this is about Lao Tzu or other religions and founders of those religions. So that, that's the, the particular issue. But in a larger sense, it is a question of exploring how do we know the truth Merely saying that somebody said something doesn't necessarily mean that that person said it unless you have some 
outside documentation that said that person was there. And then when I, and, and it, it morphed into talking about um, Jesus. You go to the New Testament and you go to the early church writings, millions of examples that Jesus did this, Jesus did that, Jesus did that. We have no historical evidence at the time when he was supposed to have been alive that anybody outside of the Christian church mentioned him. In fact, um, most of the uh, New Testament, not most of the early Gospels, uh, were written um, after Christ's death. And, um, but, but it doesn't prove that he existed simply because the early church said he existed. It's, it's just like Lao Tzu. I mean, there's no historical data that is not within the realm of Christianity that n ever mentions Jesus during his life. Um, the first person who was outside the Christian church and the New Testament writers was a um, Jewish historian and he wrote about Jesus in 93 AD, half a century after the death of Jesus. And there's a lot of documentation that the early church doctored this historian's work. Um, so, so that is one issue about determining the truth of things. And so <laughs> I use this as a teaching moment about how do we understand the truth. And merely saying somebody said it doesn't necessarily mean that it is true. But the question is, we need to think about how do we determine what truth is? So I appreciate your time listening to me go on and on about it, but it, it is, it is, in, in, in one sense, it is about the history of a millennia, two millennia, three millennia ago, and founders of religions. That's important to me in my class, but the general concept of how do we determine truth is essential to our lives here, now, right where we are, in our own history, in the present day. <laughs> so I appreciate your uh, time listening to me go on and on. In the meantime, take care. Ciao.